Yes, in this month of June, in our prophetic chart, in our prophetic calendar, I've been shown by the Lord that we need uh, to start engaging in serious prayers concerning the two celebrities in the nation of South Africa. Now listen carefully. As I was praying, the Lord God of Might showed me a certain young man who has been dwelling in the nation of Botswana, but recently has been moved to South Africa. I saw this young man standing in front of what seemed to be like sewagery waters. These waters were actually flowing, but this young man wanted to cross over to come to the other side. But I saw him struggling as if he was drowned. He was actually moving from end to. But at the end of the day, I saw him managing to cross to the other side. But as he did so, I was hearing certain voices which were calling his name that he may not be able to uh, enter through the sewage waters. But the young man was unable to hear because I saw in his mind, it was like someone under the influence of something, not drugs exactly, but something controlling his mind from the inside. So when he had come and crossed over to the other side, I have seen in continuation and perpetual staggering, but it seemed as if he had lost his mind, like someone who has become mentally retarded, someone has become mentally uh, you know, affected, like his mental ill, his mental health was not okay. And the Lord God told me, we need to pray for this young man, because there is a great star that has been bestowed upon this young man in the area of comedy, in the area of movies, but I see his shift and movement from Botswana to South Africa in search of greener pastures. I saw a plan of initiation. The water that I saw, which was trying to cross the dead waters, this is the marine world. This is a cloud in the secular world music and movie industry in which he is about to be initiated unto as I speak right now. There is a plan, an ongoing initiation process for this young man. But the Lord told me to advise him, to advocate to him, not to indulge in such evil activities. Because I see at the fullness of it, his mind was jammed, his mind was affected. He went to become a, a mentally retarded person. Therefore, I urge him not to do that. And those who are praying, Please continue to pray for the life of this young man. Now, last but not least, I saw a woman who is a widow who just lost a husband uh, recently in the land of South Africa. I saw this woman struggling to come, struggling to stand like she was falling and she was trying to rise up. And the Lord said, there is a spirit of death that is haunting this woman. I saw a healthy beginning deteriorate and the Lord said she need to repent and to find your ways leading her unto God. Otherwise, the days are numbered. I saw kind of sicknesses coming unto her, falling up, falling down, trying to rise up, falling down. This is happening to this lady. May the Lord God lead her to a place where she repents and give a way unto Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen and amen. Now, before I close, someone will ask, men of God, why do you speak such messages? Look at this. When we come to you as prophets, we are also coming to you as the watchmen of the city, as the watchmen of the country, as the watchmen of the nation. This is why you see in the book of uh, Ezekiel 3, verse number 18, the Bible says, If I say to the wicked, you shall surely die. And you give him no warning, nor speak to warn the wicked from the wicked way in order to save his life, that the wicked person shall die for his inequity. But his blood I will require at your hand. But if you warn the wicked and does not turn from his wickedness or from his wicked way, he shall die for his inequity, but you have delivered your soul. Our duty as watchmen is to deliver. The message of the living God because if we don't do so if they die the blood is given to our account into our hands so I pray that as they are hearing these messages spread the message unto them let them search for the face of the true living God my name is the voice of the holy nation 
prophet Peter Wellington. If you have never subscribed to this broadcast, this channel, I would love you to do so, so you can be able to hear more messages as we deliver to you as God speaks to us. May the Lord God bless you. Shalom.